It takes two years to drill the first eight wells, and they must have them ready to go before the pipeline can be connected. A specialized drilling ship, the West Navigator, is moved into position over the top of the gas field. The Orman Lang gas wells will be the largest deep water wells drilled in the world. They drill the field with a powered drill head operated from the ship. Once assembled, the pipe is lowered through the bottom of the ship and the 1,000 meters to the template. From here, the drill head moves another 2,000 meters through the seabed to the gas deposit. And then it snakes its way through the gas pockets. Every step of the way is monitored and recorded in a virtual database which keeps expanding and is used by the engineers and surveyors to plot the next drilling spot. Back on land, the team can enter the cave, an amazing 3D undersea world. By virtually passing over the seabeds and the gas find, they can locate the most promising parts of the deposit. Jens Grimsgaard can plot the drill's movement from the cave. With a joystick, I can also fly in this world by just using it, this tip here, and using my movements of my hand to steer myself through this reservoir. During the drilling, data collected by the drill is sent back in real time to this database, which is constantly being updated. The computer generates the images, which puts the team right in the gas deposit. They pinpoint spots from 10 kilometers away with astonishing accuracy. That would be compared to that your dentist would be in the 10th floor and you would be situated in the first floor and he's going to fill out one of your tooths back there. We're getting extremely good results by doing this.